your fight determines your flight. Your warfare determines your welfare. There is no way you're going to fulfill your divine destiny in a grand style without dealing with your foundations. That's why you find that a young man does not have a house in Nairobi. He's building in the village. You've seen that nonsense? And of course, you don't finish that house. Because the village, the, the, the forces from the foundation will capture your stuff. You have taken circle long to go and build in Karate. And of course, we know you never finish. As soon as the house reaches a certain level, that business, that job are going down. Because we lack understanding about spiritual power. There's nothing wrong building there, but for you to build there, you must gather enough spiritual capacity. Foundations begin to swallow anything that wants to spread out. Can I go deeper? Not only your children, it begins to swallow breakthrough. That's why there are things you must kill for the sake of your children. Yeah, man. There, are th there are patterns you must break yes. for the sake of your children. Yeah, man. If you don't break the patterns, your children will fight the same battle. Yeah, man. Terah never go to Canaan. When God appeared to Abraham, he said, please leave. Have you seen that Abraham started where Terah stopped? Look at verse 4. Look at verse 4. Genesis 12 verse 4. And Abraham departed. As the Lord has spoken unto him. Yes. And Lord went with him. And Abraham was 75 years old. When he departed. When he departed from where? Haran. Where was Haran? It is where the father died. You need to make up in your mind. That whatever your parents did not do. You must do. If they didn't buy a car, you must make everything within your power to buy a car. If they did not build a house, you must build. Because if you don't build, your son will start where you stopped. Your parents never married in church. You're also collecting a young boy somewhere and you say, we don't want to go to church. Just join us in the office. Something is wrong with you. Your father and mother never went to church. Wali patana mahali my mahil. Wana watoto wangapi? Tano. You're the fourth born. Your first born also never went to church to marry. He has four children. Your second born also never went to church. They just collected, went to the village, paid dory. Now they are married. You're the fourth born. You're born again. You are dating a guy, Andrew. Now you have gone to a place you say, because we don't have money, let us go to pastor's office to join. Are you not behaving like terror? Listen, it is not God's will that at 48, you are boring for what to eat, what to wear, what to dress. I keep telling people, when you get 40, you need to pray well. Because 80% of ancestral power started supporting you. You give birth to a son. You call him Haran. Your second born marries a woman whose father is also called Heran. You go to a place called Heran where you die. Heran is not a person. In other words, you begin to have monitoring spirits that duplicate certain patterns. If people struggle with taking alcohol in your family, you realize it's not only one. If people struggle with living a holy life, you realize not only one. If people struggle financially, you realize as your uncle has lost that money, your other cousin doesn't have money. Your other cousin who is doing well has also lost his job. These are monitoring altars, the heron in a father's house. That is why some of you should stop eating in kiosk. Mm. Because everyone in your village eats in kiosk. Some of you must break out, not because you have money, but because you want to break a pattern. Yes. Yes. You want to break a pattern. Yes. It cannot be that your father died without a car and now you buying a car is becoming luxury. Not you. Not me. You are not buying car just for car's sake. Yes. You are breaking a pattern. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. 
you are not living in Rwanda just because you have money. Yes. You are trying to break a pattern of Islam. Yes. Everyone in your house lives in Islam. Yes. Your cousin in Umoja. Yes. Your other uncle in where, 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 where? In, in Teriko. Not you. Not me. Not after this service. Not after this I service. I get you out of your father's house. Amen. I get you out of your father's Amen. house. Amen. I get you out of your. Ay, 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 ay. Amen. Be careful. When everything around you spells your father's house, mother's house. The house God you employ has the name of your grandma. What is your name? Uh, Nyambula, Nyagodhi. What's your grandmother's name? Priscilla Nyagodje Mbure, just a rearrangement. And you have ancestrally picked that house girl. And ancestrally, that house girl does not go. Even if she makes a mistake, there is grace to remain. It is 10 years in your house. And you're testifying. I don't lose people. Not true. You don't lose your father's house. Be careful when the dates of your child coincide with your dates or the dates of somebody in the house who does not fear God. Your son, August 4th. Da, 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 da. Your grandfather who never fear God. August 4th. 1948. The friends are going to 2016 and 48 but his 4th is August. No, So your son at a little age is masculine not because he lifts weights even when he enters your and is your son 16 years the way you you are the mother but you're afraid of your son because you're not seeing your son you're seeing your grandfather heron was not a person it was an altar 